Welcome to Penny Craft Hut. Well, Halloween is around the corner and I need a spider for my door decor. So in today's video, I will be demonstrating on using my leftover macrame odd length yarns to assemble a cute looking spider. And stay tuned, towards the end, I will also be going through this video special on tying up a spider web. To assemble the body, you will need macrame yarn and two pieces of paper. The macrame yarn that I am using is having a thickness of 4mm. If you are using the same thickness, then we will be needing about 12 meters in total. As you can see, all my yarns are in odd length and they are discarded portions from my previous projects. So don't worry if you do not have yours in continuous length too. First, we will be knotting up the top of the head. We will need about 2 meters for this one. Tie a knot. Try to make it real small. Twirl the end of the yarn through the hole. Thereafter, I have actually uh, placed sticky tape around the tip to act as a needle. Once you are done with the knot, poke it through the first hole, I mean the hole, go under and pull it under the yarn. We will be continuing to do this for about seven of them. So this is the second one. And the last one, seven of them. Thereafter, this is the first knot that we have done. Poke it through, just poke it through and pull from below. Now this is what I call a complete circle. As you can see from the head, for the head is smaller, I have actually made two rounds. For the body, it's bigger, I've made three rounds. Now. Do take note on this hole that we have just put the yarn through. After coiling round twice, we are going to poke it through the same hole. For every hole, we're going to tie two times. Now, my cord is getting shorter and I'll need to actually put in another piece. So just cut enough and tuck it under. Get the next yarn, poke it through the same hole that this cord has came up from. Tuck the two yarns in between. And we will continue. The next hole.
every hole that we will be doing, we will have to knot twice. Identify where we first started and we will just close up by just poking it down. So this is too round. And to end, we will just put it down. Now this is actually the top part of the head. Okay. We will do two of this so that it's up and down and for the body, you will do another round, same, we will coil round twice and poke it through the same hole and we will have to do two of those as well, so a top and a bottom. All together, you should have four of them. And now we are done. We have two pieces of two rounds and two pieces of three rounds. This is for the body and we will set it aside. Next, for the legs, we will be using roughly about four pieces of A4 scrap paper. On landscape orientation, I'll be cutting out 4.5 cm and I'll need 16 pieces and 2 cm I'll be needing eight pieces. So let's get cutting. So after cutting, we will need to have a round chopstick, a disposable one. I'm going to start coiling the paper around the chopstick. Apply glue Likewise, for the 2cm one, we are also going to coil around the, the chopstick. After which, for the 4.5cm one, we're going to cut away the corners. To make sure that the hole is still open, As for the 2cm one, we are only going to slice one side. So once you're ready with all the legs, 24 pieces of them in total, you may colour the legs up first. Next, back to the body. We will be working with the three round circles first. Take two of them. Tie a knot. To keep it together. You will need one and a half piece of A4 paper, crushed it into a ball and this will go into the circle to make the body hard. Thereafter, we will need needle and thread and we're going to sew round the whole circle.
we're going to attach the legs. You will need four pieces of 50 cm long yarns. Arrange two on each side. Put it under. And two others. We will take the initial one, put it through, pull it across, and this four goes into the bottom two yarns. Tighten it. Next, grab half a A4 size scrap paper, crushed it, and we'll be placing it inside this head to make it firm. Press it down. And with this, we will be attaching it to the two strings that we have tied the leg to. Keeping the two strings from the bottom ball up and center, we are now going to sew all around, keeping a very small hole for the feelers and we're going to sew it right down. We are now going to tie the two feelers for the spider. Go two rounds. Tie a knot here. But tie it as close to the head as much as possible. Go through two rounds. And pull. Make it tight. Just snip it off. Next is colouring time. If you haven't gotten the legs coloured, now is the time to do so. Um, you will colour these legs in the same colour as the body or you can choose any other colours that you want to decorate your spider with. Do note that we are not to colour the legs as of now, so leave it as its original colour. Hi, welcome back. I have chosen brown for my next spider. We are going to assemble the legs next. For each leg, we will need two pieces of 4.5 cm and one piece of 2 cm. Now, for the end of the yarn, do place sticky tape at the end so that again, you will use this as a needle to poke through each limb. Now, um, do twirl the sticky tape on the horizontal side so that you can have it as long as possible. This will aid in the poking through of um, the tube here. Tie a knot at the end. Now because of the diagonal cutting, it will naturally have the limb. The angle part will go in. The part whereby we did not cut will be facing outwards. The angle pointing upwards, the 
angle pointing upwards this way again so that it will fold the leg downwards and for this leg we will have it the long side the tip side facing downwards tie a knot at the end continue to do for all the rest of the other legs and thereafter once you're done do some touch up paint and paint the white I mean the exposed portion with the color of the spider all right I have decided to leave the kinked part of the legs uncolored because I thought it would look prettier this way well, but um, if let's say you can look clearly, some legs are looking limpy over here. That's because I didn't actually tie them too tightly. So if let's say you want your legs to stand out really firm, like this side on the left side, you will have to tie them tighter, else it will be looking limpy like this. Now, um, to finish the decoration part of it, I have actually also cut out some little um, eyes and lips. I'm going to stick them, I'm just going to decorate it now. There you go, we have completed our spider. And next, for the making of the web, Get about 3 to 4 yarns according to how wide you want your spider web to be. Place the main cord in the centre. Pin it down. For the easiest way to get the web done, Again, we will do what we have done for the spider legs. Put this under and the other above. But before we put it down, loop it under the initial cord and this two through the initial cord. Tighten it somewhere in the center. There, we will pin this out. In order to make the web, now get another long piece of yarn. Okay, we're going to start tying a simple knot in the center. Snip away the rest. Now because the spider web, you'll be adjusting it to where you want to place it and you do not want this web to be actually running up and down so the best way to tie it is using this way put it under again this one under adjust it tighter over and under pull a very neat knot again under Under, adjust it, over 
N under. And we'll just continue. If your cord is too short, just tie a knot here and take another yarn, tie another knot and we continue to go on. Thank you so much for joining me in the making of the spider and web. I hope you have enjoyed this video. More crafts are coming your way and I hope to get your support in subscribing to my channel. See you soon.